Nope, this isn't one of those videos that talk about the importance of leveraging AI. At this point, we all know how important AI is and how it is a pretty big deal. So let's jump to the specifics. Let's see some real life use cases of what you can actually do with AI in sales and how HubSpot's AI features are making it ridiculously simple for sales teams to get ahead. First up is lead scoring. Lead scoring is assigning values to your leads so that your sales and marketing teams can prioritize which leads to reach out to. Now, um, check out the link in the description to see how you can build a lead scoring model from scratch. But here, let's see how you can use AI to create a lead score. So on my screen here, you can see that, well, there are two types of scores, engagement and fit. What this does is uh, it evaluates your uh, contacts to generate recommendations of lead score. So for example, I start, I select my start stage for marketing qualified lead to a sales qualified lead, and I give it a time frame. What this will do is um, it will start analyzing all the contacts in the past 30 days that have converted from a marketing qualified lead to sales qualified lead, and it will create a score on the basis of that. Secondly, we have deal scores. Deal scores predict the probability of winning the open deals in your pipelines, which can help your teams to prioritize and focus on deals with higher chances to close. Deal scores are, well, powered by AI, and it checks, as you can see on my screen, it checks several factors to generate this score, including data from deal properties and activities. Next up, we have buyer intent, which you can use to map your target market and detect potential buyers early in their journey. You can use the buyer intent tool, which you can access under the marketing tab uh, to understand when prospects are actively researching solutions like yours, signaling potential uh, interest, um, and that can be done even if they have not engaged directly with your sales team, or even if these contact contacts do not exist in your CRM. You can use this tool um, and you can look at companies that are in your target market. If you toggle this on, you can on you'll only see companies that are within your target market and that are showing intent. And you can cr set criteria for both of these by going right here. Intent can be anything to do with some of your high intent pages, some of your demo pages probably that uh, visitors are showing interest in. Um, you can set those aside. And similarly with target markets, what sort of industries do you want to target location-wise and all that jazz. Next up, we have enriching data in your CRM for effective prospecting. On my screen, you can see I have a contact record. Um, and say I think that this is a really good lead to reach out to but I don't have enough information to generate a personalized outreach. What I can do in this case is go to actions. I can click on enrich record and it will show the properties uh, that it can enrich. Now there are a number of properties that uh, can be available depending on the contact. Uh, this can include their role, employer location, um, their social media links and much more. This is the same case with company records as well that it can populate uh, key attributes like annual revenue, industry, employee count, address, uh, social media links, and much more. Next up, we have AI-powered prospecting with the prospecting agent. This is an AI agent that works for you and automates your prospecting process. Uh, it takes on the research work and it also generates uh, email drafts that you can then use. Um, you can well refine, personalize before you finally send it to them. Uh, so once you have this agent set up, all you have to do is enroll contacts. You can either manually enroll contacts or companies, or you can set up an automated enrollment. So if we go ahead and manually enroll this contact, once I hit start enrolling, what it's going to do is it will start researching about the contact that we just enrolled, as you can probably see right over here. So um, instead of going around the HubSpot CRM, looking through different contact, different contact records, company records, you can save your time and let the prospecting agent do the heavy lifting. And once it's done researching, it will have three emails ready for review. You can look at these emails right over here. You can refine them, add your tone of voice, um, personalize them however you see fit, and you can hit send whenever you're comfortable. You can learn more about the prospecting agent uh, in the video that I'll be linking in the description below. Another super cool use case of using AI in HubSpot is that you can even use it to prepare for meetings. Rather than going through the overview, the activities and other information, I can just hit Copilot and ask it to create a summary for me. Let's see how we can do that. So Copilot is right, built, right here built into HubSpot and 
here's a prompt already. So prepare for a meeting with contact. I'll start typing out its name, click on it, and wait for Copilot to generate a response. In just a matter of seconds, Copilot starts to spit out a summary of what the, co the contact name, their job title, when was this contact created in the CRM, what their life cycle stage is, who the contact owner is, what were sp some specific notes, some uh, things that you want to note, what were the engagements like, and some next steps. And this is an amazing feature to look into if you're going into a meeting.